Welcome to Peaky Blinders, The King's Ransom. We are playing the demo on a Pico 4. This demo is also available for Quest, with the full game due out early 2023. Before we get started, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 25,000 subscribers, I'd love to have you on the team. Also like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video or the demo or the Peaky Blinders franchise. I'm a fan of the show. I've seen it in its entirety. I highly recommend it. And I've been looking forward to trying this out. Couldn't wait for the full release and I don't think there's early access, at least not for me. So we're gonna try the demo. My hands seem a bit small. Let's check the options. Okay, we are standing. We want vibration on. Vignette we want off. Movement. Uh, smooth turn. We only have teleport movement, I guess. Uh, let's go like that. What's miscellaneous? Aim assist on, sure. Uh, subtitles will turn off. They take up too much room. And they affect immersion, although we'll see what the accents are like. Okay, let's go back. And let's get to it. Already did this, okay. Standing. This is pretty awesome. I'm aware of the bonds that were created today. When you told me that sure there's a way. The water's so still, and my pain has gone away. Much cleaner after the rain. Follow my love, set the tent spring air. Follow the moment of the sun. There's a call for new beginnings here, but the sorrow of yesterday disappeared. Time to see what Tommy has for me. Now the intro song for the show played there, but to avoid copyright issues, I had to swap it out. But fantastic song, Red Right Hand by Nick Cave. I swear, I didn't, I never told him anything. Oh. Thomas Shelby. Well, the time's not been kind to you, eh? You still smoke? What's it been? Ten years? More? Still can't talk after all this time. That old bastard really did a number on you, didn't they? But compared to your old man, ours was a fucking dream. We were just kids last I saw you, and now I've got Arthur in me ear saying give him a chance. Have a read of this. Churchill's place was robbed last night. Got away with the king's ransom. Jewelry, fine china, family heirlooms. But Churchill's far more worried about this. This was stolen from his nightstand as he slept. Looks like a briefcase. Well, it's not. It's Churchill's dispatch box, stuffed with government secrets. Now, God forbid it falls into the wrong hands. Which is where we come in. Have a seat. 
We'll talk business. A toast. <sighs> to old friends. The documents in that red box. I am every British undercover agent, worldwide. Whoever's got it could blow the lid off the Empire. Start a new war. So Churchill's asked me to personally see that he gets it back. And he will reward the Shelby Company handsomely for his troubles. <sighs> Luckily, I was able to locate it. My man in London was due to deliver it here this morning. I called before he set off. No one's seen I and I heard of him since. One way or another, someone's got to him. Now I need a trustworthy soldier to go down there and find the truth. I normally ask my brother, but this needs a surgeon, not a butcher. You might just be that man when I've seen your war record. Have a read. Paints a grim picture. But I can change that. Now Arthur, he remembers what you did for him back in the old day. But I'm not Arthur. How do I know you're anything but a traitor? Who's got this coming to him? I'm not convinced just yet. Abraham's man betrayed me. He's in there. Take care of him. Job's yours. I'll see to it your name is cleared. Go and see Polly at the betting shop. Give her this. Just fuck off. It's up to you. Tommy left me a gun and ammo. All right. Some sort of envelope over here. And we got the traitor to deal with. There's someone there. Whatever Tommy told you about me, it's not true. I'm a good man. Ask Abarama. On my son's life, I never told those Winter's children anything. Did some digging on Silas like you asked. Not much to say. He's like every other man these days. Poor, lonely, and not many prospects. No family to speak of either. Easy to see why he signed up with Abarama. Tommy, I'm not in the habit of employing traitors or fools, but Silas was both. Loose lips take lives just as easily as bullets. My apologies. Deal with them as you see fit. Give my regards to Polly. Abarama Gold. Gold's man was seen talking to the Bolsheviks a few nights before they were found outside Charlie's yard. Whatever he told them was enough to convince them they could hide on our territory, and our lads paid the price. I'm Johnny. What do you have to say for yourself? Right, right. I've been talking to the Bolsheviks, but I was going to tell Tommy, I swear. I thought they just spent all their time making flyers. I didn't think that actually hurt anyone. Bad for him. Came up. Tails. So, now we have to get to the betting shop. Hmm. Cigarettes.
Where is the betting shop? Upstairs. The Emperor. Yeah, it's dark up here. Can we open this? Seems like no. Well, I guess that's our demo. Seems promising. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 25,000 subscribers. Be fantastic if you're one of them. Also, like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video or the demo or even the show. Leave all that good stuff in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.